Today we will show you how you can correctly dismount a damaged bearing type 6310 by using our bearing puller BP160. Before the BP160 can be used, the bearing must be prepared accordingly. Good preparation is important. The following steps are necessary. Safety first. Don't forget to use safety glasses. Step 1. Make a mark on two opposing rivets with the center punch so that the drill does not slip. Drill out both rivets. Make sure that the diameter of the driller is bigger than the rivet. Step 3. Lift the bearing cage with a suitable tool. Step 4. Cut the lifted bearing cage with a sheet metal shear. The PP160 comes with an instruction for use. The table helps you to choose the right ball adapter. Now I will show you how to dismount a bearing 6310. In this case, we choose the ball adapter A7. Next step is to screw the ball adapter to the pull rods. Afterwards, you push the ball adapters in the bearing rays and rotate them 90 degrees to ensure a secure hold. Make sure the spindle is clean and greased. Put the pulling rods together with the support. Dismount the bearing by turning the spindle. 